Most of you know me as a bard in Harold. But there was a time that I was looking around, trying to find my place in life, and very briefly, I became apprenticed to a mason. And that mason was one day called upon the Lord, by the Lord of the Manor to redesign the Great Hall. See, the problem is, the Lord of the Manor wanted one tower repositioned on the other side of his hall. And the problem is, this tower was three stories high, which meant basically taking down everything and then building it again on the other side. And because the Lord was very conscious of the price of building materials, we had to make sure to save every last little thing. Now, each of these three stories had its own fireplace. So, there we were, dismantling the tower, one bit at a time, and taking all the chimney bricks down the spiral staircase all the way down to the ground level and taking them all the way across to the other side of the building. Well, some of us apprentices got an idea that maybe we could do this a bit faster. We rigged up a rope and pulley system. We'd already dismantled part of the third story, so it was very easy to hook one of the pulleys to a beam that was jetting right out over where one of the walls used to be. We got a rope, a very, very long rope, because this was a block and tackle system that, well, we really should have been using the block and tackle, but stupidly, one of the apprentices decided to use one pulley. We got a really long rope, we got one end through the pulley, and then we wrapped it around a barrel. We loaded that barrel full of the chimney bricks. And then, another rather dim apprentice went down to the ground level, and I got a firm hold on that rope. And I told the other apprentices to ease the barrel off of the exposed floor while I braced and lowered it down from this end. But when we swung that barrel off of the third floor and into the air, it became immediately apparent that it weighed a lot more than I did because it headed down and I had it up! The barrel met me halfway, took a good deal of me with it, but I did not let go of that rope. And as a consequence, I jammed my fingers into the pulley and banged my head off of that exposed rafter. And in the meantime, the barrel had by this time hit the ground. The bottom of the barrel split, the bricks came pouring out the bottom, and then it appeared that I weighed more than the barrel, because it headed up and I headed down. I met the barrel halfway again, and what the barrel didn't do to me in the first place, it did to me in the second. <laughs> I landed on the ground so hard that I finally let go of the rope, looked up in confused and contusions, and just in time to see the barrel come down and hit me on the head. <laughs> when I finally woke up, I was inside that barrel, sitting on top of a pile of broken bricks. And... I must say, I did not enjoy that avian experience a whole lot, but it did teach me a very valuable lesson. As I was convalescing, it occurred to me, the lesson is this. If you try and hold on to anything of value these days through all the ups and downs, you'll end up in a barrel for sure, all smashed up, and nothing to show for your efforts but a pile of dust. That, suffice to say, was my last day as a mason's apprentice.